a few days back at the Mumbai airport, we had an Indigo plane landing in and an Air India plane taking off and there was a gap of just about 20, 100 feet, which is less than the safety zone and the time limit was less. Though an inquiry blames the ATC and the Indigo pilot, but then if an accident had happened, it would have been the passenger who would be suffering. So there are systems which are upgrading the GPS signals so that they are easily communicatable and we can be better connected. So there is the system called the Gagan, which is the GPS aided geo augmented navigation, which is an implementation of a regional satellite based automated system SBAS, which is the prime of the government of India. It is a system to improve the accuracy of the GNSS receivers by providing reference signal and the airport authorities of India efforts toward implementation of the operational SBAS, which can be viewed as the first step towards introduction of modern communication, navigation and surveillance of air traffic management system across the Indian's airspace. The project was established with 15 Indian reference stations, three Indian navigational laid uplink stations, three Indian mission control centers and installation of all associated software and communication links. This will help the pilots to navigate in the Indian airspace by an accuracy of 3 meters, that is less than 10 feet. It will be helpful when landing aircraft in marginal weather and difficult approaches like Mangalore International and Kushok Bakola Rimpochi airports. This is a project costing 774 crores that is 93 million US dollars and was to be created in three phases through 2008 by the Airports Authority of India with the help of ISRO for the technology and space support. The GSLVs of Gagan which went up in 2011 were unemployed and not being used but just revolving the earth. But recently the project has again taken off and they are being used and the satellites are being used for their signals and geostability. This is basically applicable to safety to life operations and meets the performance requirements of the international civil aviation regulatory bodies. The space component became available after the launch of Gagan payload of GSA-8 8 communication satellite which was successfully launched. This payload was also part of the GSAT-4 satellite that was lost when the GSLV failed during launch in April 2010. A final system acceptance test was conducted during June 2012 followed by system certification during July 13. All the aircrafts being registered in India after 1st July 2021 are mandated to be outfitted with Kagan equipment. Indigo and Air India are buying about 970 Boeing and Airbus aircrafts. All of this aircrafts will be fitted with the Gagan equipment so that there can be lesser of accidents and communication is of the best order. To begin implementing a satellite based augmentation system over the Indian Air Force, Wide Area Augmentation System, the WAS codes for L1 frequency and L5 frequency were obtained from the United States Air Force and the 
United States Department of Defense in November 2001 and March 2005. The system will use eight reference stations located in Delhi, Guwahati, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Thiruvanthapuram, Bangalore, Jammu and Port Blair and a master control center at Bengaluru. The U.S. defense contractor Raytheon was stated that they will bid for and build the system. This is a demo technology demonstrator with a national plan for satellite navigation, including implementation of technology demonstration system over the Indian airspace as a proof of concept that has been prepared by airport authorities of India and ISRO. The TDS was successfully completed during 2007 by installing eight of these Indian reference stations that I mentioned. But Gagan has one little problem at around 2 p.m. when the ionospheric disturbances are too much, there is a break of signals. So the ionosphere and its disturbances are being studied so that we can overcome it. America has the WAS and Europe has the EGNOS, which is the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service and the Satellite Augmentation System, which provide seamless air navigation, traffic and communication. Our Gagan, which is operating within the Indian airspace, also does the same and is at par with the American and European system, except for a few glitches, which are being looked into. And this will improve the communication and navigation of the aircrafts within this airspace. Keep listening to our channel for more such videos on latest events, geopolitics, and I am here to train you on life skill issues free of cost. My number is there in the video and in the description box, and you're free to call me any time of the day. Jai Hind.